Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Easy Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this infographic animation inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugin. So, if you're new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel. And if you like this video, then don't forget to hit that like button. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects as always we need to create our main animation comp width I am going to choose 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 duration let's choose uh, only 30 second duration and background color is white color and simply hit ok and then hit ok so we'll get this kind of composition go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection then i'll create another composition i'll call it as main only and over here uh, width i'm going to choose 1080 and i'll hit ok then i'm going to enable my rectangle tool and for the color i'm going to choose not completely white color but something grayish white and simply hit ok and i think instead of a uh, only rectangle we need to choose a rounded rectangle and then mm, i'll simply double click on this rectangle so it will automatically create a proper shape like this then press s for scaling option and scale it like this over here then we will go to the contents then we will go to the rectangle one and then we will go to the rectangle or let's say transform rectangle one inside this uh, uh, over here i think we need to go to the rectangle part one yeah here is the option called roundness all you need to do that is simply increase this option like this so we'll get this kind of roundness over here again i'll select this shape and i'll hit ctrl d i'll select the second layer first of all i'll change the color from here i'll press s for scaling option and i'll scale it somewhere around like this and over here we are going to choose red color like this and simply hit ok then i am going to choose my ellipse tool and i will simply double click on this ellipse to create this kind of circle and press v for selection tool and i will move this somewhere around over here like this ok then let's bring this over here select this third layer press f4 and choose alpha inverted mat so we will get this kind of shape ok make sure that this line and this line should be uh, parallel with each other so let's select this ellipse and let's bring this downwards like this ok so as you guys can see we will get something like this now after that i am going to select uh, all of them and i will hit ctrl d to duplicate it then i will select this shape uh, layer and i am going to delete this track uh, I mean there is no alpha mat required now I'll select this layer and this layer um, so I can see only both those, these two layers and then let's, let's delete the fill of this ellipse and over here for the stroke I'm going to choose red color then I'll bring this ellipse over here and let's increase the stroke width to let's say 5 pixels and let's bring this downwards and now I'm going to select this ellipse and then I'm going to choose alpha mask which means that this uh, rectangle which is this and it's gonna act like a mask over here and we will select this ellipse and with the help of upper arrow key i'll move this a little bit upward and let's disable this option so as you guys can see we will get this kind of shape over here like this now after that uh, what we need to do i'll select this ellipse again and at this time i am going to delete the stroke and for the fill i am going to choose complete white color and hit ok and by holding shift i am going to create one ellipse over here press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally like this ok now let's select the text tool uh, and over here for the font i am going to choose oswell font like this and for the color of this font i'm going to choose at least for now i'm going to choose black color and let's type 01 okay then select this text press ctrl alt home go to the align tab and align it horizontally press v and let's bring this text over here press s and let's scale it like this 
okay now hit ctrl k to open the project settings and in the background i am going to choose black color background so i can see them properly like this don't worry about the look we will adjust that later let's select this uh, text go to the character menu with the help of this or you can simply go over here and instead of complete black i am going to choose something like grayish color like this then i have this lorem ipsum paragraph i'll simply copy this and uh, hit ctrl t again to select your text tool so go over here and hit ctrl v to paste this hit ctrl a to and let's bring the size somewhere around like this or let's say like this okay go to the paragraph menu and i'm going to choose left align text so i'll get something like this and let's move this over here hit ctrl t uh, select this text go to the character menu and let's disable this all caps option uh, like this and let's try to adjust the text now select this text and let's uh, decrease the distance between these two lines like this and let's try to adjust this paragraph okay now select this text and go to the paragraph menu and i'm going to choose center text <coughs> select this text press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and if you want then you can increase the scale also and let's bring this over here now uh, select this text hit ctrl d hit ctrl t to select this text and let's delete this text and over here i am going to type your text but you can type uh, anything you want like the subject of your uh, thing and let's increase the size and let's bring this text over here okay so this is how our design is ready now all you need to do is to animate this now first of all i'm going to select this your text only let's say and then go to the animate menu go to the position property and let's bring this position downwards go to the range selector create one keyframe at the start it and go to around let's say one second and let's make this 100 select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you hit play we will get something like this now go to the advanced option and over here percent not percentage but uh, based on characters i'm going to choose based on words so i'll get something like this also go to the add menu go to the property and choose opacity and let's make this opacity zero so we will get this kind of text animation now select this animator one hit ctrl c to copy let's select both these layers and uh, go to the start and hit ctrl v so we will get this animation for this text also like this okay now uh, this is for this uh, now we need to animate the remaining ones so let's select start with the ellipse press s create one keyframe go to one second create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero this. then select this layer go to the content menu go to the rectangle go to the rectangle path one and over here you will get this option called size let's unlink this and create one keyframe go over here create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero select those keyframe and hit f9 okay also select these keyframes and hit f9 okay after that uh, as you guys know that we have one rectangle over here so let's go again go to the contents so rectangle one rectangle path one uh undoing this create one keyframe over here go over here create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero select those keyframe and hit f9 so now this animation would be like this okay now we will select these keyframes by hitting ctrl c i'll copy those keyframe and we have one mask over here as you guys can see I'll hit Ctrl V for this mask also, like this. Okay. Or uh, I think this is not going to work. So let's delete this. Uh, we need to adjust this manually. So for that, I'll press S for scaling option. I'll unlink this so I can animate like this. Let's create one keyframe over here. Go over here, create another keyframe. Go to the start and let's make this zero select those keyframe and hit f9 like this okay now hit u 
we don't need to uh, select this uh, text keyframes uh, but uh, all you can do simply let's select all the keyframes uh, so it's not gonna get confusing and simply hit f9 again go to the graph editor select all of them at once and make sure to check out whether they are linked or not if they are not then make sure they are linked and let's select all the keyframes hit f9 and go to the graph editor move one handle over here and one handle over here like this so if i see i'll get something like this hit uh, u uh, and now hit page down button one time select this move this over here and move this over here again move this over here like this okay so if you see we will get this kind of animation and if you want you can select this last keyframe and you can move this a little bit forward so we'll, this animation will last a little bit longer like this okay and hit you so let's go to the main animation now uh, i'll select this main and i'll move this over here so if i hit play i'll get something like this let's go over here or instead of that let's select this comp go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for effect called drop shadow simply double click to apply and increase the softness like this and increase the opacity to let's say 20 like this so we'll get this kind of drop shadow let's select this drop shadow and hit ctrl c to copy double click to open this select this and hit ctrl v select this and hit ctrl v so we'll get this kind of drop shadow now select this uh, go over here and for the color i'm going to choose red color over here for this one double click to open this let's select this shape and let's delete this drop shadow we don't want drop shadow for this one so you'll get something like this now press s for scaling option and scale it like this let's make the scale 70 or let's say 85 let's move this over here uh, let's make the scale 80 hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's bring this over here like this that is it like this now right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s for scaling option and scale it like this and let's move this over here okay so now uh, let's delete this null object and if i see this animation now i'll get something like this now let's select this second layer right click go to the reveal reveal layer in source project select this main hit ctrl d and by holding alt i'm going to replace it with this double click to open this comp so we'll get something like this now right click new and create one null object and i'm going to select all the shape layers so, i mean let's say my last uh, four layers and we will make it apparent with this null 2 select this null 2 press r for rotation and we will rotate it like this let's say 180 so we'll get this kind of animation so if i see this thing over here i'll get something like this okay and let's select this and let's move this a little bit upward so i'll get this kind of stuff and we are not going to change anything over here so for that let's select this thing right click reveal layer in source project select this hit ctrl d and by holding alt i'll replace that also now let's go inside this main tool i'll select this thing go over here and we will change the color to blue i'll copy this color code and hit ok select this stroke also over here i'm going to apply the same color so i'll get this kind of stuff let's go inside this go over here i'm going to choose different color over here like this copy this color code hit ok select this ctrl v and oh for this uh, text also instead of 0 1 i'm going to type 0 3 over here instead of 0 1 i'm going to type 0 2 like this okay so if i see this thing now i'll get this this and this so if you see this animation we will get something like this okay so let's this uh, first then i want this to animate then i want this should start animate like this okay and press ctrl y to create one solid background layer either you can create a white layer 
or uh, if you want then you can try some different colors also like this let's choose white layer only so if i hit play i'll get something like this and then hit end so yep this is our final output so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned